Have you ever wondered how much gold there is in the world? It's a question that has piqued the curiosity of many a mind, and today we're going to dive into the depths of this intriguing query. Gold, the shimmering symbol of wealth and prosperity, has been at the heart of human civilization for millennia. From ancient Egyptian pharaohs to modern-day investors, the allure of this precious metal has remained unwavering. But how much of this gleaming commodity actually exists? Well, to set the stage for our exploration, it's worth noting that gold is more than just a beautiful bauble. It's a unique element with remarkable properties that make it highly sought after. Its resistance to tarnish, malleability and conductivity, among other attributes, have made it a cornerstone of various industries beyond just jewelry and finance. So the question we're probing isn't just about satisfying our curiosity, but also understanding the role this precious metal plays in our world. Estimates suggest that around 244,000 metric tons of gold have been mined throughout history. Now, that might sound like an astronomical figure, but when you consider the scale of our planet and the span of human history, it's fascinatingly finite. This gold isn't just sitting around in vaults either. It's distributed across various sectors, from the gold reserves of countries and the jewelry on our wrists and necks to the electronic devices we use every day. And yet, the allure of gold continues to beckon, with prospectors and miners constantly in search of this precious metal. As we delve deeper into the world of gold, we'll uncover where it's hidden, who owns it, and what the future holds for this golden asset. The journey we're about to embark on is as glittering as the subject itself. It's about more than just numbers and facts. It's about understanding the past, present, and future of a material that has shaped the course of human history. So, are you ready to explore the golden mysteries of our world? Get ready to uncover some surprising facts, debunk a few myths, and maybe even spark a new appreciation for this timeless treasure. Let's embark on this golden journey together, shall we? Gold, a symbol of wealth and power, has a history as rich as its lustrous hue. Our golden journey begins in ancient times, when our ancestors first discovered this precious metal. Gold, due to its natural occurrence in a pure and workable state, quickly became a prized possession. Cultures from the ancient Egyptians to the Inca revered gold, attributing divine qualities to it and using it to adorn their temples and themselves. Moving forward in time, we find ourselves in the Roman Empire. The Romans were the first to utilize gold on a large scale, developing advanced mining techniques that would lay the groundwork for future gold extraction. From hydraulic mining to the use of sluices and dredges, the Romans were true pioneers in the quest for gold. As centuries passed, the allure of gold did not wane. In fact, it led to one of the most remarkable periods in history, the Gold Rush era. The mid-19th century saw thousands of prospectors, brimming with dreams of wealth, flocking to places like California and Australia. This period was marked by innovation and perseverance, as miners braved harsh conditions and employed new techniques to extract gold from the earth. The Gold Rush left an indelible mark on the world, transforming remote areas into bustling communities and spurring economic growth. It also sparked a shift in the gold industry. As the surface gold dwindled, miners had to dig deeper, leading to the introduction of underground mining. This evolution in mining techniques has continued into the modern era, with technology playing a pivotal role. Today, we use sophisticated methods like open pit mining and heap leaching to extract gold from ore. These advancements have made it possible to mine gold in ways that are more efficient and less harmful to the environment. And thus, gold continued to cast its spell, shaping civilizations and economies. From its early discovery to the present day, gold's journey is a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring value of this precious metal. As we delve deeper into the world of gold, remember this golden history. It's a tale of ambition, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of wealth and power. But just how much gold has been mined over the centuries? Well, let's dive into the numbers. The shiny allure of gold has captivated humans for thousands of years, leading us to dig, pan, and explore every corner of our planet in search of this precious metal. And all these efforts have resulted in approximately 244,000 metric tons of gold being mined throughout human history. Yes, you heard it right. 244,000 metric tons. 
That's a staggering amount, isn't it? It's equivalent to a cube with each side measuring almost 21 meters long. Imagine a shiny golden cube of that size sparkling under the sun. Quite a sight, huh? Now, let's break it down a little further. Each metric ton of gold is approximately 1 million grams. So if you do the math, you'll find that we've mined over 244 trillion grams of gold. That's a 12-digit figure. And remember, gold is incredibly dense. It's about 19 times denser than water. So, the volume of all the gold ever mined would be about 12 and a half billion liters. If you're having trouble visualizing that, think of 5,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools filled to the brim with sparkling gold. Even more fascinating is that nearly half of this gold has been mined in the last 50 years alone. And the numbers are still growing, with about 2,500 metric tons of gold mined each year. But here's a thing to ponder. Despite all the gold we've mined, it's still incredibly rare. If you spread all the gold ever mined evenly over the Earth's land surface, it would only form a layer about half a millimeter thick. That's a lot of gold, but how does it compare to everyday objects? Well, stay tuned as we delve into some fascinating comparisons in the next scene. Imagine a solid gold cube. How big do you think it would be? Now, let's start by picturing a standard Olympic-sized swimming pool. You might be conjuring up images of a pool overflowing with shiny gold bars, right? But hold that thought. When we talk about the estimated 244,000 metric tons of gold that exist in the world, we're not quite filling up that pool. In fact, all the gold ever mined would form a cube of about 21 meters on each side. That's roughly the height of a seven-story building. Not quite as monumental as you'd visualized, is it? Now imagine you're standing in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Picture the grandeur of the towering statue of Abraham Lincoln. The volume of all the gold ever mined would only occupy about three and a half Lincoln Memorials. Let's think smaller. Picture a double-decker bus. You'd need approximately 1,400 of these buses to contain all the gold we've dug up in human history. Or take a basketball. Imagine, if you will, an enormous pile of over 60 million basketballs. That's the volume of gold we're talking about. Now let's bring it back to something more personal. A standard gold wedding ring. If we were to melt down all the gold in the world, we could produce nearly six billion of these rings. That's almost enough to give every person on earth a ring with some leftover. These comparisons may seem surprising. We see gold everywhere in jewelry, coins, and electronics. But the reality is that gold is a rare and precious metal. Its scarcity is part of what makes it so valuable. So the next time you see a gold object, remember the scale we've talked about today. Each piece of gold is a small part of a surprisingly modest cube, the result of thousands of years of human effort. Surprised? Gold may be everywhere, but it's not as abundant as you might think. So where is all this gold? You might be asking. Well, the answer might surprise you. It's not just stashed away in pirate chests or hidden in secret caves. In fact, much of the world's gold is neatly tucked away in the vaults of central banks or buried deep beneath the Earth's surface in the form of untapped reserves. Let's start with the countries boasting the largest gold reserves. At the top of the list is the United States, with an impressive 8,133 metric tons of gold. Following closely behind is Germany, with 3,366 metric tons. Other countries with substantial gold reserves include Italy, France, and Russia, each with over 2,000 metric tons. But what about the gold that's yet to be unearthed? The major gold-producing mines play a crucial role here. The Grasberg mine in Indonesia, for instance, is known as one of the most productive gold mines in the world. Then there's the South Deep gold mine in South Africa, which holds one of the largest gold deposits globally. Over in North America, the Carlin Trend is a notable hotspot. This prolific gold mining area in Nevada has produced a staggering 84 million ounces of gold since the Carlin operation began in the early 1960s. And let's not forget about Australia, the second largest gold producing country. The Super Pit gold mine in Western Australia is so vast that it's visible from space. But remember, gold isn't just about the glitz and glamour. It plays a vital role in our economies and technologies proving its worth beyond its lustrous beauty. From the vaults of central banks to the depths of the earth, gold is scattered across the globe, 
each piece telling a unique story of geological processes, human endeavor, and economic power. Gold is indeed a global affair, tucked away in vaults and buried deep within the earth. And as we continue to explore and understand this precious metal, who knows what more we'll uncover. Ever thought about owning some of this precious metal yourself? Well, you're certainly not alone in that. Gold has been a symbol of wealth and a form of currency for thousands of years, and it continues to be a sought-after asset today. So how does one go about owning gold? There are several ways, each with its own advantages and potential drawbacks. Let's start with the most tangible method, physical gold. This can be in the form of gold bars, coins, or even jewelry. Owning physical gold gives you direct control over your investment and can be a hedge against economic instability. However, it also comes with storage and insurance costs, and there's the risk of theft. Another option is gold stocks, which are shares in gold mining companies. When the price of gold rises, so too can the value of these stocks. But remember, investing in a company also means you're subject to the company's performance, management decisions, and other business risks. For those who prefer a more hands-off approach, there are gold exchange traded funds, or ETFs. These are investment funds traded on stock exchanges, much like individual stocks. A gold ETF provides exposure to the price of gold without the need to own the physical metal or deal with storage and security issues. But as with any investment, it's important to do your research and understand the fees involved. You might also consider gold futures and options, which are contracts to buy or sell gold at a future date and agreed price. These can be a way to speculate on the price of gold, but they can also be complex and risky, particularly for inexperienced investors. Remember, gold is a long-term investment. Its price can be volatile in the short term, but over time, it has proven to be a reliable store of value. Whether it's a small gold coin tucked away for a rainy day, or a significant portion of your investment portfolio, owning gold can be a way to diversify your assets and protect against uncertainty. Whether you're a gold bug or just gold curious, there are plenty of ways to get your share. What does the future hold for gold? An intriguing question that leaves us all wondering. As we journey forward, the way we mine, produce and use gold is set to evolve in ways we can't yet fully predict. In the realm of gold mining, a shift is on the horizon. Ethical mining practices are gaining traction, with a growing emphasis on environmental sustainability and fair labor. It's a move away from the destructive practices of the past towards a future where gold mining respects both the earth and its inhabitants. In this shift, technology plays a vital role. Innovative techniques are being developed to extract gold more efficiently and safely. Picture this, a world where mining is less about brute force and more about smart, sustainable solutions. But the story doesn't end with mining. The way we use gold is also set to transform. In the world of technology, Gold has proven to be a crucial component. Its excellent conductivity and resistance to corrosion make it invaluable in electronics. And as technology advances, the demand for gold in this sector is likely to increase. Yet even as we look to the future, we must also acknowledge the past. Gold has been a symbol of wealth and power for centuries, and this isn't likely to change overnight. While alternative materials may emerge, Gold's cultural significance and aesthetic appeal ensure it maintains a prominent place in our society. Finally, let's not forget the role gold plays in the global economy. As a safe haven in times of economic uncertainty, gold continues to be a desirable investment. With the world in a constant state of flux, the demand for this precious metal is unlikely to wane. The golden age may be over, but gold's allure is far from faded. As we stand on the precipice of the future, one thing is certain. Gold, in all its glittering glory, will continue to captivate us, to challenge us, and to change us. Our journey into the world of gold is coming to a close. We've delved into the depths of our Earth, surfacing with the gleaming reality of 244,000 metric tons of gold. Our journey traced the golden pathways through history unraveling the rich tapestry of human fascination with this precious metal. We visualized the grand scale of gold, comparing it humorously to a swimming pool, and unveiled the hidden reserves nestled in the corners of our world. We've invited you to ponder your personal gold ownership and engaged in discussions, debunking myths and misconceptions. Peering into the future, 
we explored the ethical mining practices that are taking root and the potential alternatives that may one day rival gold. As we wrap up, let's remember that each nugget, each bar, each piece of gold carries a story, a piece of our shared history, and perhaps a glimmer of our future. Remember, every piece of gold has a story to tell. What will your gold story be?